I do. That's true. All right, so now I click that and it'll take me there. It's a little wonky, can't tell. Let me see if there's a here. Yeah, five people in, you're live. I'm live. How does my skin look on the big screen? <laughs> that must be really loud, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave it low just so it doesn't. I was trying to just take my... <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> I was trying to take my label off so it's not like... Hi guys! Hey Augustin, Rohini, Yvonne. Good morning. I hope you guys are all doing good. We're just going to wait a little bit so everyone can join. I'm also going to post it on Instagram real quick so people know. I'm sorry if that's really loud. I'm just trying to, there we go. Hello, Kichella. I love cosmetics. Same. And Michelle. All right. I'm going to post this real quick on Instagram. How have you all been? How is your morning? I honestly have not done much yet. I had breakfast, although I had a pretty good breakfast. I had um, avocado, bacon and egg on toast, which was really good. And a coffee. And then I got ready for the stream. That's about it. All right, wait. How do I do this? Oh, I can't go back to the... There we go. Alright. I'm going to post this. I hope you guys are okay with that <laughs> on my Instagram. I wonder if they have like a... We're live! GIF. Live. Ooh. I'll put it right here, okay? Okay, thank you. Logan's here to help as always. <laughs> I instinctively look at this camera this instead of. Uh, no, I just don't. I won't do a GIF. I'll just do live and now on YouTube. Come in and join us. Oh, my shoulder hurts. What did everyone have for breakfast? Let's talk about that real quick. I already told them what I had. Avocado, bacon, egg on toast. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I'm glad to hear you guys are doing good. Good morning. Hi. Sorry if I do look down. I'm just reading the chat. So. Okay, so we are live. I'm going to take a sip of my tea. I hope you guys grabbed a tea or a coffee or something. Um, planning to do a stream for about an hour. Um, and we're going to unbox a little package. Hi from Los Angeles, still in bed. Oh, that sounds nice. It was hard to get, it's been hard to get up lately. Um, we just had a, what do you call it, like time change, daylight saving change here in Melbourne. Um, so surprisingly, even just the hour change has been like stuffing up our body clock <laughs> and I can't seem to get up very well. And it's still bright out when we're like going to have dinner, which is weird, but. 
since it's going into summer over here, which I know for most of the rest of the world, you guys are going into winter, but it is going into summer, although it's still very like cold. We've only had a couple nice days. Um, I guess it's spring here now winter spring yeah it's spring here i know it's autumn for most people and then we're gonna be experiencing summer soon um hi from canberra southern california melbourne is so miserable yeah pretty much <laughs> we'll have like one really nice day and then it's like raining the next day and it's super cold so um okay so for today's video i'm going to be unboxing this which doesn't seem like a big package, but it is um, $500 worth of beauty from YesStyle. Um, now, I will say I'm not obligated to do this whatsoever. They were just super nice and we're like, thanks for using our links and stuff because I recommend um, shopping on YesStyle for a lot of you guys because I know it's so hard to find um, especially Japanese products and stuff online. And, and I, I use YesStyle a lot as well. A lot, a lot. lot. <laughs> um, and yeah, yeah they, they were just like, like thanks for using our links here's a shopping voucher um if you would like to try out some more products and i was like what like yes that is amazing um and in that um they also gave me a code tina oct for october if you guys want to use that as well and get a discount when you're on yes style so please do that but essentially this haul is like um what i would choose to buy <laughs> if I were to spend $500 on your style. Um, so a lot of things that like I've wanted to try in the past but I like overthinked about it and I'm just like oh do I really need a blah 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 but I was giving this voucher and I was just like hell yeah I'm just going to try all the things that I wanted to try um, and talk about and kind of share with you guys on my channel as well. So we're going to start cutting this open. Is there a weird feedback? I'm echoing when I'm speaking. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. Should I use... Do you think it's the mic? I don't know if it's the mic or not. There's an echo. Mm, give me one second, guys. I'm not super useless, as you can tell. Is it just the laptop being loud? But it's echoing. Echoing. Should I try just like my AirPods and see how the mic is on that? You could if you want to. We'll just see. I'm gonna mute it just so. Okay, we're gonna mute it for a second. Oh, wait, I already muted it. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Oh, it changed. That's weird. Um, we're going to mute it. Wait, have you muted it? Yeah, I already muted it. <laughs> so go ahead and connect those. What do you mean it doesn't stay? Oh, I don't echo oh. when I was talking. Wait, can they still hear us? No I way, don't think right? so. Well, there's this one. Oh, you do have two going. Okay, okay, yeah, I figured it out. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I had two mics going by accident. Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> you can tell I'm just not used to this. I'm sorry. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, accident I think I accidentally had my, like, laptop mic as well as my, um... It might have been me when I was setting it up. I don't know. It's okay, though. We fixed it. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to start unboxing. Now, should I go in, like, a particular order or should I just pick random stuff? I, like, I generally remember what I bought, but it was a little while ago. And it's been sitting here because I think. 
Should I show you guys like, ooh, this is packed in. It is packed in. Let's have a quick look, see. So it's like full to the brim. <laughs> and it's a small package, but there's a lot of stuff in it, so. Your hair clips look oh, thank cute. you. My hair actually looks kind of gross today, so that's why I went for hair clips. So package it really well, though. This is my list. Is that in the way? No, I just, you know. So I'll refer to this if I need to. Do they actually, oh, they do still do that. It's pretty cool though. Yes, still does like provide you all the ingredients of everything you're buying, which is pretty nice. I think they they literally print out everything you ordered and have all the ingredients in it, which I think is nice. Um, but that's a list in case I get confused to what I ordered. Random sounds good. Okay, and should I have it like? How should I have it? Do you want to see the insides and my face? Or just the insides. Should I zoom out a little bit? Ooh. How about that? Is that good? I'm kind of cut off slightly. Maybe I'll do it up a little bit. How about that? Does that look good? How about that? <laughs> it's a bit hard to reach my tea, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna go in random. Um, so exciting, it's like Christmas. Um, for anyone who wasn't here, um, again, YesStyle gave me wonderf wonderful YesStyle. I don't even know what I'm saying, but they did give me a voucher to um, shop with them. So we're gonna go from the top. This is not beauty, as you can see. I wanted to buy some headbands because I realized that I don't have any headbands. So I bought this really simple headband do you guys like want to know the price of everything or not? Nah? Or maybe not because I don't know if it's on here. Never mind. It's not on here. <laughs> I'm going to read out the prices. But... I did buy some random stuff, I will say. Because this was just like, ooh, shopping spree for me. So I definitely bought like a lot of skincare products, obviously. But I did buy some random things like this. Is that loud? <laughs> this was literally like a couple dollars and I thought why not? I don't have any headbands, so it's kinda of hard right now to put it on with my clips, but it's a cute little headband. I had it in a bunch of different colours, I thought it was kinda of cute. It'd be easy to chuck on for like work and stuff on my head looking gross. So maybe I should do this. You got a headband. And maybe I'll leave, after the stream, I'll leave the links to, like, everything I got if you guys do want to see on them. Um, ooh, yes, I got a bunch of these. So, ooh, this, I think that's a sample. But I did take this opportunity to purchase a few pimple patches because I am running out. Um, so I got a few different types. Classic CosRx because I feel like that's, just classic and it's super cheap I can't remember how much they were but I think they were like four three US dollars for a pack um, and then I also thought i will try the other one I've never tried this version the AC collection acne patch um, this one has three sizes I actually didn't know that I don't know if you can see it has a small medium large so if you have a little like cluster situation going on um, you can use these. Sorry, I got distracted. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's not good. I'll turn it off. No, it's okay. Um, and then the last one is the Sun by Me one, which is also another one that I have not tried, but I thought I'll give it a go. This is again, like all of them were, I think, like five dollars or less for a pack. So I was just like, yes, I'm going to take this opportunity to grab a bunch. Um, let me know if any of you guys like if there's a favorite of these that you guys have tried. I thought I got like another one. Maybe I didn't. Got some pimple patches. I'm gonna throw throw stuff on the ground because I have nowhere else to go. Um, this is a sample. I've never heard of this brand. Simply O Spotless Brightening Serum, Spotless Brightening Cream, and just information. 
I have never heard of that brand before, so I'm pretty sorry. Just a little sample. And then, ooh, I'm just going to get these out of the way because they're like non-beauty related. But I got some phone cases because I'm kind of bored of mine. Um, I've had the same, ooh, I've had this Shiba can, which is cute, honestly. It is really cute. I've had this one for like a while, so I thought I'll change it up. And they're so cheap on your style. I got this one on your style as well, so they're just cheap and cute. Um, I got a orange heart one. I thought Logan might like it because he's very oh, yeah, orange. Fine. Do you like it? Yeah, Isn't it cute. cute? It's like bright orange. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Maybe I'll pop it on. Welcome if you're just joining. Yes, it has only just started. So. Do you guys get expensive phone cases or hella cheap ones? I always get really cheap ones. <laughs> I thought this was cool because it's like clear. Oh, it's pretty tight though. Ooh, look how bright it is. It's so pretty though. I like it. Um, so we got that one and I got another black one and I will say I had like a light colored one in the past and when I had it at work, it got dirty so easily. So I'll try to get another black one. This one's all right. It's kind of not as cute as I thought on, where can I put this online? The volume is so low and sound isn't clear apparently. I'll talk louder. <laughs> I don't know how to fix the audio. <laughs> this is the other one I got. I think it's just like moon and landscape, but the print is not very, I don't know. In person, it doesn't look that clear, but I mean, it's classic, just a black. I mean, it looks kind of nice. That's that one. And then lastly, ooh, this one's actually a better material than it seems. It's kind of like a pastel, pastel, like painting on canvas that looks like the texture. Ooh, I like that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Look at that one. It's like a canvas painting, but I thought that one was cute too. It's like so pastel and girly. I don't usually have super girly stuff, but it's kind of cute. I'm going to keep this one on. Don't take it away from me. One cheap case per phone. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I have never had too much trouble with, like, smashing my phone. Um, I think the last one I had I absolutely smashed it I dropped it when we were shopping in Japan and like little pieces of the screen like flew under the shelf <laughs> and I just taped it back with sticky tape and I'm like eh, I'll just get a new phone soon but other than that I've never even like broken a screen of a phone and stuff I've had pretty good luck but I do make sure to always have a screen protector I buy them at Daiso because they're hella cheap but still work really well yeah, the pastel one's super nice, huh? Ooh, we're getting into the exciting stuff. All right. Ooh, I forgot I got this. The Neogen Dermology Probiotics Relief Toning Pad. I have kind of been into toning pads. I don't use them every day, but um, I thought of actually doing a bit video, a video about this, but I rarely exfoliate these days, like very, very rarely, at least with like strong ingredients and I feel like my skin is just so much better like I just don't need to exfoliate or I think it's so easy to over exfoliate and I've been using toner pads to exfoliate because they're so gentle and they give you just like that little little bit of exfoliation and you can do it more frequently so I got this because I was like kind of into toner pads at the moment um should am I like kind of answering the questions anyway I'm oh, you're good. Yeah, you're good. I'm good. I'll let you know if there's any pain. Okay. So Logan is my helper. I love the name. 
No, I, I, you probably saw it, but your cardigan they asked where you My get cardigan? Um, I think it's from Cotton On. Or Supre. It's like an Australian, like, biggest Australian retail, like, clothing. It's from Supre. I've had this for so long. Supre is literally, like, where you shop when you were, like, 12 years old. <laughs> No offense to anyone if you sh they still have good basics, but that's how long I've had it probably. I've had it for so long. But I really do like the colour and I kinda matched it with my um like makeup today. I went for kind of like a corally corally look. Um Ooh. Guess what this is? Anybody can guess what this is? Logan can guess what this is. I kinda want someone to ask her. If someone can read Japanese, I think Logan can read like this much. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a butt soap. <laughs> um, it is supposed to be like um, oshiri. oshiri. Yeah, so it's a soap for your oshiri, um, which is your butt. And it smells like peaches and it has like a little bit of exfoliating ingredients to help with exfoliating your skin i was using it when i was in japan and honestly it just smells nice but i don't know about you guys bum soap, bum soap. yes you are correct <laughs> but i find it's pretty easy to break out um in that area a little tmi maybe but it's it's true and i found this just helps like it's fun to use so you use it more like frequently or properly um and it smells really good like peaches so can smell it. You can't really smell it, but. Oh, yeah, you can't smell it. Yeah, and I love the smell of peaches. Yeah, it is like a little butt. I mean, you can definitely say it's just a heart, but it's like a little peach butt. It's so cute. Um, but I, I had used it in the past and I liked it. So I thought I'd grab it again. Michelle asked, what's on your nails? What's on my nails? Um, it's OPI. And it's from a long time ago, I'll be honest. Oh, I'll put it away somewhere. Mm. It's in there somewhere. Top? Bottom. Bottom. No, the one above that. <laughs> this one? I don't even know. No, that's not it. This one? Yeah. So I actually really like this polish, but I did get it a really long time ago. I don't know if they still sell it. It's called Rally, Rally Pretty Pink. Assuming it's supposed to be like really, but it's cool because it like changes depending on the light. Like it looks kind of gold, and then depending on the light, it looks kind of purple and stuff. See, kind of. Yeah, that's an OPI polish. I do like it. I've had it for a really long time. Um, I'll let you put the questions up. Cause oh, okay. Yeah. Sure, sure. I get distracted very easily. Yeah. Oh, yes, I got some um, spare puffs of the Moonshot cushion puffs because I love them. Um, cushion puffs, no. My favourite, like, cushion foundations so far seem to be Moonshot and I really do like their puffs of, like, their texture as well as the shape. So I just bought a spare two. They're so cute too. They're purple. And I love Moonshot's little design of, like, the um, Astro... Astro man, astronaut. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay. Somebody did ask if the, the soap is just for your butt or is it just the main one you use? It, it is like marketed for your butt, but you can use it anywhere. Obviously, it's a body soap. So if you do get like breakouts on your arms or even like your chest and back, you can use it. It's just supposed to be like a really gentle exfoliating um, soap. So you can use it anywhere. It's just like the whole marketing thing of using it on your butt. And for me, I break out on my butt a bit easier than a lot of the blazers. So, ooh, I'm excited about this. This is the, I'm from silicone brush. Cause I have brushes for masking, but they're all like, what do you call it? Like hairs. I don't have a silicone one. So I thought I would try out a silicone one because I always see them on Instagram and they look really cool <laughs> to show the textures. But like, it's just a silicone brush. And I realized that I'm from had theirs on there for pretty cheap. I think it was like 
six dollars or something so and i love their products and like their quality is very good so i thought i'd try the iron prom one very pretty but that's a nice brush all right i'll go with these little bits and pieces i think these are lippies that i got um Did I buy the same colour I already have? <laughs> Let me see. I no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. So the rum and glassing water tint. I love these lippies. I'm actually wearing it today. Um, but they're a nice, like a well tinted, juicy tint. I don't know if that's the right word. I'm wearing the pink valley today. And I bought another shade for a moment. I thought I had um, bought the same one, which it can happen. Like you tend to gravitate towards the same shades. So for a second, I thought I had bought the same one, but I didn't. This one is the uh, Brick River. Ooh. Which is uh, this one here. And I will say I do like Romand how they put in a little like use by sticker thing which is really cool. So you can write when you opened it. Let's swatch it. I wonder if I should just put it on top. Would that be weird? You won't be able to tell the color, would you? Ooh, it's really nice. It's like a, it is like a brick. I feel like on, on stream, does the colors come out stronger? Maybe not. On my screen, the color looks really, really like high saturation, but on stream, it's not too bad. It's really nice. That's all a little swatchy here. Ooh, it's kind of like a ready orangey. It's a very like autumn shade. I feel like it is nice. And these do, like, even if the glossiness in that goes away, it does leave that tint colour. And I do love the texture that they leave. So I got another one of those because I like it. Um, pop it away for now. And then I got another Romand product that I haven't tried this range before. Juicy, juicy lasting tint. What was the other one? Blasting water tint. Okay, pull this stuff in again. Am I uh, stuffing something up? No, just more people saying the... Audio as well? Yeah. I swear, is this mic... Because, like, whenever I record, it sounds very, very quiet as well. Yeah, you might have to get a, like, pre-mixer. Mm. The skill of opening it with one hand. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll try. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not very good at the audio. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yeah. So this is the Juicy Lasting Tint, which is a little bit different. And I think this was um, a couple of videos ago when I did the popular like makeup rankings in Japan right now. This was not this shade, but this range was in it. Ooh, it's good. I don't know what the huge difference is. This shade is pretty though. So that's the swatch. So this one's a little bit more pinky, like leans more, I guess, peach. Oh, it is a different texture. Oh, it smells interesting. It smells like fruits. But I would say it's a bit more, it's not as like translucent. The one before is more of like a translucent, like true tint. Whereas this one has a bit more of like a texture to it, but it's still very like glossy. Ooh, I'm excited to try that. This one, the shade is number seven Jujube. It seemed like one of the popular shades and a color that I like. So went for that one. Now I am probably going to take this off my hand before I put it everywhere. Um, here's my tissues. See, look at that. I just wiped it off with a tissue, but 
the tint does last for both of them. I'm going to dab my lips a really bit, a really bit, a little bit. Wow, I must have the water sounds fine. Yeah. That's good. All right. I'm having so much fun. It's already, it's already been half an hour and I'm like barely through my packet. Oh. Someone has the same shade. All right, another little... Ah, so this is the McQueen eyeliner. I have bought this before and it was really good. So I just bought it again. Um, it's like $5 on YesStyle and they have black and brown. It's just a like a regular felt tip liquid liner. But it's just so cheap. And I remember it lasted like such a long time. It looks like they changed the packaging a little bit though. That's what it looks like. McQueen is like the brand name, New York. And just do a little squiggle. Yeah, look at that. You can get such fine lines. But I have used it in the past and it was just, it's such a cheap good liner. So if you're looking for just a cheap whatever felt liquid liner, highly recommend. All right. I'll put this out of the way. So we also have another sample. Pure Hyaluronic Acid 90 Serum from Pareto. I have never tried it. I will say I'm not using as many hyaluronic acid serums these days or just hydrating serums because I feel like I get enough hydration from my like toner and essence. Um, so I'm not as interested in serums that are about hydration too much, but I don't know. I feel like it's probably popular if it's from Pareto. 90%. Wow. All right. Oh no, it's kind of dirty. Damn it. All right, I'm going to get into some SPFs because I know everyone wants to see that. The packaging is kind of dirty, which is a bit of a shame. But the Biore UV Light Up Essence, I saw this was like everywhere in Japan. And it's supposed to be like a, I guess, slightly brightening, um, like tone up sunscreen. Um... Blah, blah, blah. And it's supposed to help with hay fever and dust protection as well, apparently. But yeah, it's supposed to give like a bit of a light up, tone up effect. I'm quite excited to try it. And the packaging looks really cool. I don't want to, I'm not going to open all of them because I don't want to open them at the same time. Um, but maybe I'll just open this one because I am a little bit curious about the packaging. Isn't this part cool? It goes like to the side. I don't know. I feel like that's pretty unusual. Um, I'll pull a little bit out. Let's see the texture. Really? I don't know if you'll be able to tell the light up effect on my hand, but ooh, super lightweight. Whoa, it kind of is though. Maybe it's mixing with the lip product. You can see how like, um, like what do you call it, hydrating it is though, because you can literally see it turning into like water. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but. Oh, maybe it does have that brightening effect. I don't know if the brightening will be good because for some skin tones, it might be like causing white cast, but. My hands look different. I don't know. Probably not good that I put it over lip products, but anyway, we'll have to try it properly on my face. Um, it's getting kind of warm in here. Give me open window. <laughs> no, <it's okay>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I like the packaging. It's like almost an updated version of the Aqua Rich, and I really like this. This is nice. Is that 50 ml the product? Let's see. Oof. Biore UV is 70 grams, which is decent. I think their regular Aqua Rich 
So this is 50, the regular one, and then this is 70. So it is like a decent bit bigger. But I will definitely try it out and let you guys know what I think of it. Oh, I forgot to mist my face today. I always forget. Does it look dewy? Should I add a little mist? Do you, you leave your live chat on the streams, right? Yeah. I or mean, I intend to. No, somebody just asked just if you... Yeah, I mean, I meant to check up on my last, last live stream to show if it, if the chat was up. I can show you. Yeah, can you? Because, like, in the settings, I made it so the live chat stays up. So, even if you watch it later, you can see everyone's chat. And I didn't change it, but it takes a while for it to, like, load. Oh. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyone who's watching it later and stuff, don't worry, the live chat will be there. Although it can take a while, like I think at least three hours, if not more, for it to actually like load onto YouTube. Um, so if you go watch it like straight after the stream, it won't be there. So I'd say wait at least um, like a day to be sure if you do want to see the live uh, chat. Someone from Orlando. Woo! Full, full beauty of the athleticism. Damn. I like the athleticism. The athleticism. Your athleticism is good. I said athleticism like five times. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go through some more of the sunscreen. All right. So another one we got was the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Essence Gold. I know a lot of people love the gold range and I actually have never tried it. I had always tried their, just like their regular white version. I hadn't tried their gold, but I think their gold is supposed to be like really waterproof and stay on. So I thought I would give it a go and it is going into summer, as I said earlier. So I'm going to want sunscreens that are going to stay on even if I like sweat and stuff. Um, so yeah, the Skin Aqua Gold. I know some people love that. Um, another one. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize I bought this. Um, another Skin Aqua. It is the Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Milk this one um i have said in the past that i'm not a huge fan of milks but i did want to give it another go um and i have never tried the skin aqua milk i think the only milks i've tried is anessa and biore so i thought i would try a milk from them it's also a really nice like small container which maybe a lot of people don't like but i like to have an option of smaller bottles so i can carry it around um, and I just realized my laptop's going to run out of battery. So let me plug that in real quick. <laughs> Lucky it's a super long cord. Ow! Hit my face. All right. All right. Um, so yes, that is another sunscreen that I've got. Um... Oh, Suncut. This looks so similar to the Skin Aqua. But this is the Kose Suncut UV Perfect Gel Super Waterproof. They kind of look really similar. So maybe gold means super waterproof because this one also says super waterproof. But this one is a gel. I love, I tend to go for gel and essence textures mainly because um, they're usually the most lightweight. So, oof. Hello from Melbourne. Yeah, the weather, like where we are right now, the weather is pretty nice, not gonna lie. It's, it's nice right now, but we'll see. Like Melbourne changes like that and it could start raining. So um, that is another one I got. I like how everyone's kind of chatting in the chat. I know. Yeah. We got some people from Singapore, people from Orlando. An American in Japan. An American in Japan. I bought some of your skin products based on your recommendation. If you guys didn't know, <laughs> Um, both, I guess I def I definitely lived in Orlando. I guess you were like just outside. Oh no, you lived in Orlando as well. Yeah, yeah, briefly. briefly. So me and Logan have both lived I in Orlando in my car too. In Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> just a FYI, quick trivia FYI. Um, I wonder if that's all the sunscreens. Oh, got a fave in here. I had to get myself another one of these because. I haven't tried the new packaging or I don't know if it's reformulated 
but the Nivea Sun Super Water Gel, this is so good. I love it. And I love that it's in a, bo it's in a bottle. It is 140 grams, which is huge. Um, it's just super easy to when you want to quickly get out, um, put all over your body. Really, really lightweight. I even layer this twice on my face, like two pumps on my face, and it is perfect. And it was my go-to when I lived in Japan for so long. So, love this one. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can get it on like US Amazon pretty easy. Maybe even Australian Amazon. Like it's pretty widely sold now. For a while it wasn't and I wasn't recommending it, but it seems like now they're selling it everywhere. Probably thanks to me, they like heard it and they're like, we should put this on Amazon and stuff. I'm just kidding. Um, but I really, really like this one. I've talked about it many, many times and first time I'm trying it out, like, oh, I bought, I finally bought a new package because I had been using the old package and the refill patches for literally the longest time. So we got that. Seattle. I know I did buy so many sunscreen. Someone just subscribed. Key Minelli. Um, thank you for the sub. Oh, let's show some um, products for Logan. So I took this opportunity to get a couple products for Logan um, because I mean, generally he uses all my products anyway, and that's totally fine. Like all skincare is unisex anyway. It doesn't really matter. But he used to use a few products that um, we'd get in Japan and really liked them. So um, I got a couple face washes because that's one of the few things you can usually get a guy to. Oh, this isn't the Japanese version. Oh no, it is the Japanese version. I'm so confused. The little label isn't in Japanese, but the actual packaging is in Japanese. But anyway, the Gatsby Facial Wash Deep Cleaning Scrub. It's a men's face wash. <laughs> um, but something that uh, Logan likes in Japanese face washes and stuff, they have that cooling effect, right? Yeah, which is, I don't know if it's good, but it's nice and really refreshing, especially if you have like oilier skin and that. Um, so we got the Gatsby one in the cleaning, deep cleaning scrub. So it does have a bit of scrub in it, but he knows how to like balance out which ones to use. So probably use this like a couple times a week. And then we also got the black whip wash black uno this one i think you've used, used this one as well right mm. yeah so this one has a bit of charcoal in it again it is like oil control and we are going into summer over here so it'll be another one that will be good um in the summer when you're feeling a little greasy a little oily but we got two face washes and i think they're like under ten dollars on yes style like under 10 us dollars which is pretty cheap like i know in japan they're dirt cheap they're like three four hundred yen but it's still not bad like getting a face wash under 10 little is pretty good um logan's skin type is i wouldn't say you're super oily anymore but if you don't take care of it you can break out and get a build up of oiliness so i would say like combo skin probably mm. Um, and he used to be quite acne prone, so yeah, still got to take care and make sure you don't get breakouts. And then I think we have one more, one more blogie. Um, the Uno All in One Essence. Oh, Essence? What did I call it? It just says All in One Cream Perfection. This one. Did you miss this one? Yeah. That's yeah. Nice one. <laughs> so this is just like an All in One for men um but it's just like a one step product it's supposed to be like your toner emulsion essence cream and mask all in one and you can just slap that on after you um wash your face so it's a nice easy one for guys or anyone who can't be bothered doing a full routine you can just chuck this on i really like their packaging too i like the nose packaging is it okay if i open it yeah i know you're gonna want to use it like right away right yeah it's so cute isn't it and it's just like a pop oh it's sealed mm. for for once i just talked about in my last video how japan doesn't like seal their products but it's actually oh is it oh it's just like a little thing on top it's just a little yeah paper. but it's a really nice gel texture should i open it are you okay for me yeah, to like open it, open it it's a really nice gel texture Oof, look at that Yee. but oh 
it smells nice. I don't remember it smelling. It smells nice. No, I remember that. You do? Yeah. yeah. It so all this, comes back to me. <laughs> so this was one of Logan's favorites that he used when he was in Japan. So I thought I'll... Because that was really the first time I ever used... Skincare. Skincare. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. And Japan makes it so easy, I feel like. Like, even as... I mean, as I said, it doesn't matter what gender you are. You can use any skincare. It really doesn't matter. But I feel like they do have a good variety for men. Do you know what else it is, too? What? It is, like... That was the first time I went somewhere, mm. and when I looked at men's skincare, it wasn't like, for the rough, rugged man, yeah, like, yeah, I'm yeah. an alpha guy, and yeah. stuff, and it's like, oh. Like, I this is just I nice. Stuff. Like, it, I even think that's really appealing packaging. And it's like, and all men's, smell. men's stuff was like, smells like the woods. Yeah, and, stuff, and, and like, it's really strong. Like, men's, a lot of the time, men's products yeah. are really strong. Yeah. But, they, it's like, it still has a scent, but it's very subtle. Um, but, yeah. It's. I think it's cool, and I always think it's. It's a lot more accessible for guys in, yeah. like, or just the market in Japan. It makes it a lot more accessible for guys if they're a little unsure. And that. So Uno recently started making makeup for men. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> it reminds me of that. <laughs> Remember that ad um, Joey did in Friends, the lip, the lip balm, and it was like probably... in Japanese. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't remember that one for some reason. I'm pretty sure it was in Japanese. Mm. And it was like a blue lipstick and he was like... <laughs> <laughs> so good. Alright, moving along. Um, oh, yes, I did buy two. Oh, I guess I bought them both in brown. I bought two mascaras from Heroin Meiku. I have said in the past I really really like this one, the Long and Curl Mascara I believe. Yes, Long and Curl Mascara. It's got fibres in it. I love it. It's like just, it's really lengthening. The colours are really nice, warm brown. And then I also got the, this one is, it is Long and Curl but it's like a very thin brush. So that's the brush for that one. And then the brush they have for this one is like a really small thin brush. So I thought it might be good for like my bottom lashes and that. And I really do like brown mascara. And I've been liking coloured ones lately. Today I'm wearing a coloured one too. I don't know if you can really see. Ichiban. But I wore... Hmm? Somebody said Ichiban lipstick for men. Oh that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Do you don't remember it? Yeah. Oh, but, um... Where is it? Maybe your boyfriend's accent is so fascinating. <laughs> it's so funny because, like, all his life, he's never been questioned for his accent. Like, living in America, obviously. Whereas, like, to me, like, when, when I lived in America, um, I worked at Disney, for anyone who didn't know, but we wore name badges of where we were born. So... Mine said born in Japan, and then I spoke like this, and people got very confused um, all the time with my accent. But it's funny now that Logan's the one who, like, people are always like, oh, Canadian? <laughs> they always think you're Canadian. Yeah. But, yeah, he's American. American, baby. American. American, baby. I like his accent, though. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I like you, Logan. <laughs> But I was saying, this is the mascara I'm wearing today, the can make one, but in brick, no, burnt, burnt orange. Do you like that? It's orange. Yeah. You see my eyes are orange. They're nice, yeah. The eyelash. <laughs> my lashes. But yeah, got some mascaras. Can we see Logan? Someone said they want to see why, you. Why do you want to see me? <laughs> <laughs> Just real quick. He popped in for like a second. You have to like just stand up and like come here. <laughs> he's probably self conscious because he didn't get all done up. But look, his hair is actually pink now. We just dyed it. Was it yesterday? No, the yeah, day before. The day before. Yeah, he has super pink hair now. So What's surprise! Up, guys? <laughs> I have a pink streak too, so we're matching now. I bought the pink for myself, and then Logan has like blonde hair, so it's super easy to dye. So we tried to dye pink, and it went so pink. Um, I used the same dye, but what, like, 
put a ton of conditioner in it to try mm-hmm. to make it lighter and it still came out like so bright so yeah this again <laughs> um moving on eyeliner Ooh, i'm excited about this one this is the d up silky liquid eyeliner i bought it in brown i really got like no black makeup this time i'm really into my colors my eyeliner even today is not black i'm going for all those warm tones um but this is just another like felt tip no brush tip liner from d up pink pink like anime everyone's saying hi yeah, oh it's so nice. nice make my day <laughs> um i also got this literally my most favorite um acne cream and i literally just opened one but um, eat, they used to not sell it on your cell. They never used to sell it. And now they have both sizes. So I got the big 14 grams, big 24 grams. I'm pretty sure the regular one is 14 and I still have plenty of the old one left, but I bought another one as a backup because I, this is like the only pimple cream that's worked for me. And lately I've been using it almost every day on my chin where I break out as a precautionary kind of situation. And I just put like a light layer on at the end of my skincare routine. And I have not been getting breakouts that much, so. <gasps> Lara? Yeah. Again? Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, La La Lara, for the super chat. Oh. <laughs> Why is so nice? I'm gonna cry. That's so sweet. Thank you, Lara, for the super chat. You're awesome. Um. Yes, yeah, super chats are on. I kind of forgot to mention that. I know. Is it a little pop? Is it a Shiba? I think it's a little Shiba. Oh, what a cute Shiba. Um, but yes, you can help support me through super chat like Lara did. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> it means a lot. Um, I don't know what. I love the Kiss Me Daisan Mascara, the best Rosal Mascara. Yes. Yes, yes. I love this pimple cream. I love it too. Oh, look at this little funny thing I got. So, <laughs> as I mentioned at the start, this was like a $500 voucher um, given to me by YesStyle. I had no obligation to post about it, but I thought it would be fun to um, unbox it. And I literally had like, I think it was like a dollar or two left on the voucher. And there was like nothing I wanted, but I was like, I still have $2 to spend. So I got this little butterfly clip. Isn't it cute? It kind of, it's a bit of a throwback to like when I was a kid. <laughs> butterfly clips. It is cute, right? I don't know if it'll really work on my hair right now, but. It's a little butterfly. It was literally like a dollar or something. And I thought, why not? I'll just get it. So it's cute. Thank you, Lara. I keep saying thank you. So sweet. All right, it's gone. All right. So I'm actually really excited about this part of the haul. Oh my gosh, how many did I get? Oh, Damn, son, I don't even remember getting this many, but I got all these cushions, cushion foundations. I'm so excited. Um, so. I really like cushion foundations and they're pretty much like all that I use now. I did use the Moonshot Glossy Fit today. I feel like it's just really easy to control the amount of coverage. They often have SPF in them and they have that glowy finish. So I was like, I want to experiment more with cushions because I really like them yet I have so little. Like I only have like three or four. Um, so I got a bunch of different cushion foundations. <laughs> Someone said, hi mate. <laughs> from Vietnam um, so I got a variety of brands so we'll have a quick look I'm not gonna like open open them but we'll have a look at the packaging the rom and this is so pretty this was part of the I think humbok collection humble humbok project and <gasps> Rachel! thank you I could cry. <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Thank you, Rachel. I love these little icons that they're like able to send. 
Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, they're so cute. The little doggy with the heart. Thank you so much, Rachel. You are awesome. You are amazing. Thank you. I'm going to try to keep going so I don't, like, cry. Um, <laughs> this is the Roman one. <laughs> My voice is, like, raspy. It's so pretty. It's, like, a purplish one. And they got that little, like, teardrop cushion. Boom! I did try to choose ones that were more, like moisturizing a glowy base instead of like super high coverage matte because i don't really like them um this is the clear which i have tried the clear kill cover one or oh, is this kill cover as well i've got another one but it's like <laughs> <laughs> you guys thank you psychotha Level up, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys are so awesome. What the hell? Oh, Lara's watching with her cat and she's living for the whole. <laughs> that's so cute. I wish I could see your cat. Um, I'm not sure if they're cruelty free, I'll be honest with you. I can research and put it in the description later on. Um, but yeah, I will research. I'm not 100% sure if they're cruelty free myself, but I can have a look into that. Um, this is a Clio one. I have one of the other ones, although it's really high coverage and kind of cakey and I don't like it a ton. Um, so I'm going to try this one. It is really pretty. You can kind of see the reflection of my camera and you can see Logan over there in the corner, but it's a nice little pink one. I wonder what the cushion is like. Ah, oh, kind of a classic round cushion. Nice thing about this one is it actually came with a refill. So I think it was like slightly more expensive, but the fact that you get an extra refill makes it well worth it. And that's what I like about cushions too. You can just refill the packaging of like 99% of cushions, which is really nice. You don't have to like throw out the whole compact every time. Um, my favorite cushion so far is probably the Moonshot Glassy Fit. Um, I am literally do like one big press and it does like my whole face and that's what I'm wearing today and I feel like it's like a good medium coverage it's very like dewy um doesn't look cakey in that so next one is the peachy peach C, which I feel like is a brand that I don't see that often but I have seen on yes style quite a bit and their packaging is so cute it's like kind of like a matte packaging and the peach C is like shiny. Ooh, look at that puff. It's so cute. It's like gradient peachy. Like that. That's cute. Mm, I'm so excited. Maybe I should actually do like a cushions comparison video and actually try them all and see which one I like the most. Um, next one is Laneige. Which I have never tried Laneige makeup ever, so pretty exciting. I know this is one of their most recent ones. Am I doing? Am I covering something? No. Did it actually play things onto screen? I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. I think uh, I saw it on my screen, like, like the donation. Oh, I see. I see. Like okay. it came up on the yeah, like here. You're good. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure it was yeah. My technical. Ooh. Man, this camera is nice for streaming, I must say. I've got a little button. Go full. Ooh. Whoa. Look at the like the highlight color. It's like so bright. The orange. Oh yeah. Like where it's yeah, burning. Yeah, yeah. Look at how they've written like Laneige. It's like bright orange. That's really cool. It's the cushion. It's just, I do love the packaging of this, I must say. Like, it's just so pretty and sleek. It's so pretty. But that's the Laneige um, Neo Cushion Glow. I think they put out like a matte version with this one. Hmm? Oh, someone's got class right now. Okay, make sure you study good. <laughs> Um, next one we have, oh, we have another Romand one, Zero Cushion. Ooh, this one's like a cool looking one, very sleek. And I think this one's also a really light one because it's like Zero Cushion. Black Puff, I don't know about that. It's cool, but I feel like the makeup will show 
on it a lot and kind of make it look dirty. But anyway, that's the other one. Zero cushion. Um, in the description after the stream, I will put in all the products and also the shades that I bought as well if you are curious. I would say I'm pretty you neutral. Said people watching. Exciting. I'm getting hot. Um, um, but I am like a neutral skin tone, I would say. I am in between pink and yellow since my background is white and Asian. <laughs> Pretty easy way to determine. Um, and I'm fairly fair, I would say. I'm not super fair, but decently fair. But I will leave all the colours. I'm sorry, I forgot to read them out. But I will leave all the colours in the description. And then the last one, I was actually really excited when this one came out. But the COSRX Propolis Ample Cushion. A bit dirty. Um, this one is actually in like a pretty full-on packaging. And you open it like this. I love it when they do cool stuff like that. I still need to cut it. And it's like part of their Propolis line and they have that, like the same extracts they use in their skincare. Ooh, oh, look at that. It is like a really thin compact compared to the other ones. That's nice. I feel like it'd be nice in your bag. Very small. It's got a pretty big push button. Ooh, look at the puff. It's like a little honeycomb. That's so cute. It's like this. <laughs> Thank you, Amy Moore, for the. Do Am I saying it too quick? Because it pops up in the chat, but I don't see like the emoticon doesn't pop up till like after. Thank you so much for your donation as well. Oh, you guys are so awesome. Oh my god the hell <laughs> i shouldn't say that that's amazing thank you guys so much there it is there's a little notification thank you amy i'm just gonna cry every day <laughs> <laughs> um i have to be careful when i pretend cry i tend to make myself actually cry so i'm gonna blink my tears away um and then this one does also come with a um, refill, which is really nice. I think the COSRX one was actually the most expensive on YesStyle. I think it was like 30 something dollars or four. I think it was 30 something, but it does come with a refill again. So I'm so excited to try out all these cushions. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can start not wearing masks as much. I mean, I say that and we were just like reached our highest anyway with the hopes that i will be able to wear makeup um more often soon i got a couple of cushions and i also just wanted to try more cushions so yeah these are all the cushions that i got I'm very very excited to try um so you can kind of see a pattern in the haul i got a lot of sunscreens i got a lot of cushions what else did i get i think that was mostly it and a lot of eye makeup because i think that's like all that I really wear. Mascara and eyeliner are kind of like my theme. So, sorry, I'm scared I just got yeah. too much. <laughs> All right, we're down to not too much, a little bits and pieces in here. I've got a couple more um, skincare products. Um, I got more of the Nameraka Honpo Tonyu Isofurabon range from Sana. Um, because I've got a couple of their products and I thought I wanted to do a brand review because surprisingly I actually hadn't used that many of their products in the past but it seems like a lot of you guys like it um, and it is pretty readily available like on Yes Style as well as other sites so I thought I would try at least like their basic range and do a full product full um, brand review so I got the Tony Isofurabon Nueki, which is like emulsion, and then the cream moisturizer as well. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank you, Fade, Fade P, V E V E I D P, and then Rachel again. <laughs> we do a video comparison. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you guys. <laughs> I was writing them down. Oh. <laughs> 
Thank you, Doogie. You guys is absolutely awesome. Hi, thank you so much for your donation. Do I can't even say it. Donation. I really do appreciate it. I truly, truly do. Thank you so much to everyone who has. Super appreciate it. Um, Rachel, again, um, with your super chat. Thank you so much. Will you do a video comparing the cushions? I do want to. I think this is a good opportunity that I actually have a few variety. I, I always wanted to, but I literally had like two, as I said. Um, so I want to do like a proper comparison um, after I've tried them all. So yes, I will definitely, definitely um, do one in the future. It might take me a little while to try them all out, I will say, um, but I will definitely do one. But anyway, as I said, I will try these ones out. I've also got the toner and the face wash, which the face wash I've already opened and tried, which I quite like. Um, but now I can do a full, full brand review of Sana. I never know what to call it because in Japan it's called Sana Nameraka. Sana is like the parent brand, and then it's called Nameraka Honpo Tonyu Isofura Bon. It's like the like range name, which is really long. But in a lot of sites they say like soy milk range, which is like Tonyu. But anyway, Nameraka Honpo range, and we've got a few to go. Ow. Um, the Holika Holika Good Sarah ceramide mist which I feel like I had never seen it and then once I found it and read reviews it was really really high re highly reviewed and it's got ceramides in it which is really good for your skin barrier and all of that so I thought I would try um I love mist as you guys probably know I don't know if this one would go well on top of makeup though I might try just like a little a little quick mist Ooh, oh, so fine. It's so fine. It smells nice too. Here's a spritz. Do you smell it? Oh yeah, it does smell yeah, nice. Yeah, it smells nice. It's fresh. Um, I think I think Sue reviewed this as well, and she said it was really good, and it's like pretty decent. Um, how many mils? One hundred and twenty mils. So this might be a good one to like leave by the bed or like first thing in the morning when I'm feeling a little dry. Um, so that's a mist that I got. And then the last skincare product I believe in here is the Ihada Cream Balm. Whoa, I did not realize how tiny this thing is. It was pretty expensive. So I thought, oh, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $20 or something. But I thought it was going to be way bigger. Although this has been reviewed so highly in Japan and it's supposed to be like just like your like everything balm it's supposed to help like a bunch of different things if you have really sensitive skin if it's irritated if you're like flaky and flaky flaky and dry it's supposed to help all of that and it's just a balm that's like Vaseline based um and it is like a me technically slightly medicated but I heard so many people talking about this whoa it's like a fully thick balm but I always saw it whenever I was on the at Cosme website. So I thought I would finally give it a go. I mean, these kind of stuff, even though it's a small jar, it lasts absolutely forever. So I probably shouldn't complain about the fact that it's tiny. But I just saw it everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. So I thought I'll finally give it a go. It is kind of cute. I think you can even use it as like a lip balm. So, but yeah, it's like... Fragrance, colorant, alcohol, paraben, free of all that stuff. Um, good for sensitive skin, and it helps with like your skin um, barrier. Oh, it's actually got tranexamic acid in it too. And then, uh, um, what do you call it? Glycerite. It's like a licorice root extract that's like soothing. So it's got that in it too. Um, but I'm trying. Hi from Canada. Oh, we have the same name, Tina. Hi Tina! It's always so funny when... <laughs> Dude, there was one time at work I answered the phone and their name was Tina and I was like taken aback. I'm like, hi this is Tina and they're like, oh hi this is Tina. I'm like, hi Tina. <laughs> um, okay, last little bits and pieces. I got two... What is that? That's the person who donated this so if you want to... Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I will answer Faye, Faye DP's questions. Because thank you for your donation. I don't know why I'm holding these up. Um, where are you now, Australia, Japan? So I am in Australia. I live in Melbourne. Um, I think because I do a lot of Japan content, people do think I live in Japan still. I kind of wish I do. I don't know. 
it's kind of like I just I just want to visit I would love to go back like right this second um, but I lived there for about two years about two years ago yeah like so two years ago I lived there for about two years but I'm back in Australia now so that is where I live currently um, I got two of the can make blushes which one of my wonderful subscribers sent me one from Japan and I really liked the texture and I got a couple more from your style because they are actually super popular and they're so cheap. I think they were like seven dollars on your style. In Japan they're like three four hundred yen. So I got this one which is number 14. It's a really nice like peachy pink which is totally my kind of color these days. I always wear this kind of shade with blushes and it's just look I barely like I barely touched it and it's so pigmented. It's so nice. And it's so creamy. The texture, like it blends so effortlessly. Like look at that. And it looks really natural. Like it looks like it's part of your skin. So I'm really excited to try these out as well. I've definitely been liking cream blushes because they, they keep that dewiness to your skin compared to powder. Um, but I was going to say something else, but I forgot the point that I was making. But anyway, they're, they're really nice. I also got the shade 20. Um, it's kind of like a... I can't remember the description of... They've covered it. But it's kind of like a chocolatey... It's quite an autumn-y colour, but I really like the shade. So I thought I'd try it out. But yes, I got two Can Make Blushes. Have I ever tried Sulwasu? I have not tried them because they're pretty expensive, right? The Korean brand? Yeah. I have not tried them. I would love the opportunity to try them, but they are pretty expensive, so I, I'm pretty cheap, so... <laughs> and have I bought um, clothes from YesStyle? I have actually bought a decent amount of clothes from YesStyle. I haven't recently as much. But I went through a phase where I ordered like once every couple months, like over a hundred dollars worth of clothes. And for your sale, that's a lot because it's so cheap. And I have definitely found some good hits from your style, but it's, it's like, it is a 50, 50 chance if it's going to be a hit or miss. Most of the time it was a hit for me, which is great. Um, I will say the quality really depends on each item, but I have bought from your style and a couple of my favorite jeans are from your style for like 30 bucks. So. You kind of just have to risk it and hope for the best but i i would shop on your style for clothes again for sure if you want something good quality like don't but if you just want like to experiment with things and stuff highly highly recommend trying it out someone said what i definitely need to put some can make yeah try it out i mean i haven't tried it out for that long so i can't say much but off topic, but I'm so curious about the yellow serum in your background. Which one? There's like a couple. This two? Or this pump? Probably the pump. Or the pump? Probably. I won't finish this one. How about you? Hey! Um, I had another lip product from Romand. Obviously, I like lip products from Roman, and this is their Humbug Project as well. And the packaging is just so pretty. Look at it. Oh, it is another glassing water scent. What a surprise. I love this range. And it's Chi, Chi Ja Beige, the shade. And look at this packaging. It's just... Oh, wow. They have, like, little prints on the actual packaging. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. No, I don't think so. But like really faintly, they have like patterns on the actual packaging in like white. It's super pretty. The pump one. This is the Sun By Me Yuja Niacin Blemish Care Serum with niacinamide. I have talked about it in a video in the past. Um, it was the brightening serums one, like gentle brightening serums. And it smells so phenomenal and the texture is really, really nice and lightweight if you haven't tried it. But 
Um, I would recommend it for people who do have like skin, like a little bit of sensitivity because it's not a strong one. It is a very, very gentle one because it uses yuja extract instead of like ascorbic acid. Um, so it uses yuja extract and then niacinamide to help with um, brightening and scars and stuff. And it is really cheap because it's so lonely. But that's that one. I'll just quickly swatch this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a light beigey kind of I feel like it looks orange on camera but it is like a peachy beigey kind of shade so that's the glass bin water tint as well it's so pretty and the packaging Ugh, so beautiful all right I've just got one more and then that's it and then maybe I'll do a couple questions and then call it a day since it's been well over an hour I don't want it to be too long in case people watch it like later and <laughs> it'll be a lot to get through like a two hour video with me. So last one is the Nivea Deep Moisture Night Project. If you guys know me, I love the regular lip balm of this. I should have it. I don't have it um, right beside me, but it just comes in like a normal chapstick form and that is like my favorite lip balm for ever now since I lived in Japan and this is their night version apparently it's just in a jar I don't know if it's the exact same formula or a little bit richer since it's like a night version but I thought I'd try it out because I just love the apps love the absolute classic one absolutely love the classic one so that's that and that's it that's my whole box you guys it's all on the ground right now that is my empty box there we go thank you so much I won't finish yet, but <laughs> thanks to Yes Style for um, letting me shop with you guys. Um, I had so much fun. I always take forever. Like I put like a billion things in my cart and then like start taking things out because you think 500 is a lot, but you know, a girl can shop. So <laughs> um, thank you to them. And then also once again, I did mention at the start, but you can use the code Tina Oct as in October um, this month to get a discount if you want and you're shopping with them too. Now, is there, should I answer a couple questions? What should I do? Um, Can you help me out. Let's see. I think you answered most, I answered most of, most of them. Cool. Somebody asked uh, in a car. Mm -hmm. Said, how's your journey with retinol? I know you've mentioned looking into it before. <laughs> okay. My journey with retinol has not started. Um, <laughs> I said in my last live stream as well but I bought a product and I have not started it because I'm scared and I'm waiting for the moment where my skin is just like perfect and like really strong to start on it and whenever I'm like oh yeah my skin's getting good I'll try it soon I feel like something happens and it like damages like moisture barrier or gets a little irritated and I'm like no I don't want to put my skin through it and I don't know why I'm so scared but um uh yeah, it hasn't started yet, so I'm sure you guys will know once I start my retinol journey. I just don't, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm doing okay without it, even though I know it's, like, a long-term thing and you're going to benefit more from it in the future, but I guess I'm, like, more scared of the irritation that it could cause than, like, looking at the benefits right now. But I will say James Walsh doesn't use retinol either, like, he's not, I saw one of his videos and he's just like, yeah, I don't know, I don't feel like I need, like want to venture there yet so i'm like hey i'm not the only one um oh well i oh good point someone said will you ever do a skincare giveaway which i actually do have a giveaway soon very very soon um probably not the next video but the video after when i hit 40k i am going to have a giveaway um is it skincare is it something else i don't know you'll have to see um <laughs> but i would highly recommend you guys to check out the video after next or whenever i hit 40k um i was actually going to release next week but it doesn't look like i'm going to hit 40k quite yet <laughs> so i'm going to release it after that but i will have a giveaway for that so please watch that video and make sure you enter for a chance to win something that you don't know what it is yet yes <laughs> um but yeah i guess that's about it um thank you guys so much for joining i feel like it was a really good turnout um i did try it on sunday this time just to see because i know i did saturday last time and i don't know everyone's schedule 
and I like it is hard to cater to everyone's time zones because the awesome thing is there's so many of you guys watching from so many different countries um, which is amazing but it does make it hard to have like a specific time oh I have like suddenly so many questions <laughs> um, but yeah it is hard to kind of find a time that works for everyone but as I said I will make sure to leave the live up and the live chat so you can watch it later and see everything that went on um, and yeah I might call it here because it's an hour and 20 um, thank you so much I do want to do a thank you again to all the people who sent me a super chat freaking awesome um, so thanks for K Minnelli for subscribing today thank you La La Lara Rachel um, Cy Kotha Amy Moore Rachel again and Faye DP F-E-I-D-P -E I don't know how to say it I'm sorry I keep saying it multiple different ways but thank you guys so much for your super chat that is so cool I did not expect it um it's just awesome like that's just awesome that's pretty much all I can say like you guys are freaking awesome um so thank you um, as I said, I do want to try doing live chats fairly often. I don't know if I'll do it in two weeks, which was my aim, but I kind of want to do a Halloween stream. Um, I just don't know what to stream. So if you guys have any ideas, um, please leave it in a comment maybe in this video, not in the chat, but a comment or even just message me on Instagram. But I thought, um, doing like a fun Halloween stream, maybe with Logan. Um, instead of him just helping me out, he can be in the stream and we can do... I was thinking doing like a, like baking Halloween cupcakes or something, but I feel like it'll take forever because like we have to prep it and then put it in and... Or maybe we'll just like pre-bake him and then we can decorate cupcakes or something. I don't know. I wanted to do something fun for Halloween, so if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video, next live stream. Um... Logan, bye. Are you gonna say bye? You can say bye. <laughs> you can say bye. <laughs> <Might> as well. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you next time. See you next time. Thank you guys so much. Love you all. Be safe. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.